Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go right ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband. And if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so in your recent past, you went through a series of uh, energies, so a time that felt most likely pretty uninspiring, um, and uh, feeling you may even be feeling pretty disconnected from achieving the abundance that you were longing for. Could be money, could be love, could be uh, a career, could be health goals, um, but just really feeling um, a lack of uh, uh, awareness or a lack of understanding of how you were going to reach your goals and this this lack of awareness or knowing may have sent you into overdrive trying to effort your way into abundance faster trying to make insisting that this is the way if i do this i'm going to do this and if i do this i'm going to get this right insistence insistence creates resistance right so this may have been where you re recently were. You may have even noticed that there was a lack of inspiration or passion um, in regards between you and a certain relationship. Um, you were hoping for, you're looking for progress, you're looking for growth, you're just feeling the lack of abundance around it, right? Again, just feeling lack of inspiration and passion in life in general. Could be career, could be person. This is a general reading, folks. We're going to give you everything. So at the end of the day, that feeling, though, it leaks into everywhere. So if you're feeling a lack of creative inspiration and passion towards your relationships, um, within your relationships or within a career, either way, wherever you're feeling the lack of inspiration and passion, what that's calling for is that it needs more of your nurture. It needs more of your sparkle, your authentic, you know, energy, you know, uh, if, but if you're not in a state where you're ready to look at that situation and give it your authentic nurture and sparkle and energy, then it means you need to take a break from it. So energetically you take that space so that it's almost like, it's almost like, you know, if you're like kind of not getting along with someone and you're kind of like, you know, I feel like we just need some space, right? And then you take some space and then, you know, you get this newfound clarity and you come back together and you, um, you know, you talk things out or you, you know, re you, you see things differently, right? It's the same thing with everything in life. So you take that energetic space, right? And you just recognize that the intention is that you must understand it has to, you have to put your nurture and sparkle into that situation. So either you're not ready for it uh, or um, you don't see clarity on it. And then that point you let it go or you're like, okay, it needs my nurture and, nurture and sparkle. Okay, well then you know what? I'm going to set some time aside to do that, right? But it, it's just dependent on where you are in your life and what exactly you got going on. But either way, it's going to require you to spend some time alone with the understanding that I need to project my nurture and sparkle into whatever it is that's not feeling inspiring for me right now. That's it, right? That's it. It's not that you're wrong. It's not that this is down. It's, it's, it's hopeless. It's just that it needs your attention, right? It needs you. It needs you, Libra. It needs you, right? They need you, right? But the situation needs you. So, and they don't need, they don't need some half-assed, wobbly, fear-based, oh my God, version of you. They don't want that, right? And that situation doesn't want that. It wants you and, all right, let's do this thing. Sparkle, nurture, coming in, right? That's what it wants from you. That's what it needs from you, that situation. Okay, so... Right now, currently, what we're getting here is the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. So feeling a lot more grounded and feeling a lot more balanced with your decision making and with your choices. So it it shows that clarity is becoming more, it shows that you're feeling more clear and it shows that you're feeling more um, in the know, you're understanding your life a little bit more. Remember this and 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 keep this with you, right? So every day the universe is gonna give you a puzzle piece to your the bigger picture, right? And so basically you wanna look at your life as like different levels of a video game. And each level, you're gonna be getting these little puzzle pieces that's gonna collect and collect and collect and you're gonna see the bigger picture of where you're going for the next level. Oh, I'm working my way towards this to get to here. 
Does that make sense? And so every day the universe is going to give you a puzzle piece, right? And every day you're going to collect these pieces. And no, that puzzle piece is not going to make a lot of sense at first. And sometimes we get really connected to these puzzle pieces. This feels really good. This is it. I'm going to make this happen. And then all of a sudden when it doesn't feel really good anymore, we start to, we start to, we start to really hold on to that puzzle piece and it gets not working. I don't get it. it, it it's wrong. You know, maybe this puzzle piece is busted. It's broken, right? But we just have to understand we're continuously getting puzzle pieces every single day to get us to that awareness of the bigger picture for the next level for where we're headed and so we always want to stay in a reciprocative state right a state of receival or a state of gratitude so that we're always receiving anytime that we're not in a state of gratitude it's because we've held on to the puzzle piece that no longer like it, it, we've already got the puzzle piece you know there's more puzzle pieces to come so when something doesn't feel great we don't want to hang on to that thing that doesn't feel great anymore because it's we've already experienced it we want to keep experiencing does that make sense your affirmation for the day beautiful soul we're going to jump in real quick is everything isn't happening to me it's happening for me right so you're always getting puzzle pieces and however you feel is the clues right so when you're feeling maybe a little bit more when you're feeling inspired when you're feeling grounded when you're feeling like you kind of got the answers you keep going right you keep moving forward that's that's the clue right but when you're feeling like something isn't quite feeling good for you it's not feeling um justice in reverse it's like it's not feeling like the tails are the the scales are tipped in your favor it's kind of feeling like things are feeling a little bit imbalanced if you will and so if things are imbalanced in your life the way that you look at things will also feel imbalanced uh if you take on too much if you feel like you have to do so many things in a day if you feel like you have to do everything all the time everywhere for everyone right that won't be the right energy being projected into your creations you always want to think that everything that you're building in your life is your creation it's your garden and you want to again nurture it and love it and care for it from the energetic state of that. But if anytime you're like, I got to do this and I got to figure this out and this is working, again, that's anxious and that's fear and that's worry and that won't nurture your garden, that will poison it. And we don't want to poison our gardens, we want to nurture our gardens, right? So anytime something is feeling a little imbalanced, it just means that there is a deeper call for you. There is something that you're being asked to look at deeper. It means that you're tying up your frequency uh, or your energy or your focus into something that most likely doesn't require your attention. Okay. Everything happens in the present moment. So it's like, I'm not going to worry about what messages spirit's going to come through for me, what I'm supposed to say in the reads until I'm, I'm not even going to think about it until I'm sitting down here and I pull the first spread and I assess the situation. I'm like, ah, oh, this is where Libra is energetically at this time in their life. Before, when I was really attached to the outcome, I would have pulled spreads all day. I would have been focusing on my connection. I would have been really like emphasizing this. Because that was the chapter in my life where I really wanted to establish what it felt like to be connected in the messages and trusting myself. So I took a lot, a lot of time in my life to, to be in that energetic state. I now long, I now have practiced that in that I can sit down in a read and intuitively understand and interpret exactly the energy that's going on. So everything happens in the present moment and everything happens in stages. You can't do everything all at once. You just got to recognize what stage you're being guided into right now. What are you being called to focus on right now? And you can tell by how energetically open and joyful and expansive it feels. All right. So how abundant it feels. Abundance, beautiful soul, leads to your awakening and right now your life is full of abundance full of puzzle pieces and full of those clues we want you to look for those puzzle pieces and look for those clues you are being guided and you are being led right into the energy of having a crystal spirit and with this message has been pulled before and I interpreted it differently in a different read. It may have been for you, but it may have been for someone else. I'm not quite remembering at this time. But it was more of like a protection thing, right? A crystal spirit feeling you had to protect yourself. So I wanted to pull another card just to get some clarity because it wasn't quite feeling that for this energy. And here we have it. We pulled the nine of cups which is about desires being fulfilled and gratifications being met and just everything feeling really aligned for you. So that means that this crystal spirit card is coming through with the message of having an unbreakable spirit. And that's who you are. It's having an unbreakable spirit, being able to do the things you want to do when you want to do them because you understand the energetic feeling of where you're being called. And you also are going to start to understand when you're being called to do something, when something no longer is requiring your attention. And you're getting the messages of this and you're understanding how this all works energetically. And even though it might, it might not make sense for you, at this time, you're in the beginning stages of it, so things are going to start to feel a little bit more clear for you. But always know this, right? There's always, uh, there's more than just, you know, black and white, right? Sometimes there's gray, right? This and that are true. There's always opportunities and there's always solutions and there's always uh, different from what we think there is. And so we, again, always encourage you. Sometimes we tell ourselves this relationship's over. It's not working. I don't feel good in this relationship. Again, I don't feel inspired. I don't feel abundant. I, I don't feel happy, right? And sometimes we project that into the relationship. 
And a lot of the times it's not even that. A lot of the times it's like, we just don't feel happy about ourselves, right? We're not connected to ourselves. And so we just look up at our outer world in this, with this, with this uh, mask on of, of unhappy, uninspired, low vibe. And we just think it's this, it's this, that's the problem, right? But half the time it's not even that. It's just how you're feeling about yourself, you see? So, but you don't know that for sure. Sometimes it is a relationship. Sometimes it is time to move forward. But again, that's going to need your uh, logic and that's going to need your intuition paired together. And that's going to come when you spend time with yourself in a state of uh, 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 stillness and, and uh, spending time alone. So you can really activate who, you can know who you are, right? Because this message of assertiveness, right? From the angels, this is about understanding that there is a need for your strength and truthfulness with people involved, standing behind yourself, speaking your truth with who you are and what you want. Um, and if you don't feel like you're able to speak your truth around people around you uh, that are in your life, and, and that means that you need to spend more time with yourself um, to really establish what you want. Because once you know what you want, you're able to speak your truth as difficult as it may be sometimes, especially to the people we care about. Sometimes I find the hardest thing for me to do is tell my husband things that I want to do in my life um, because I've practiced in the feeling of like needing his approval. And then so that same feeling will be there for me. Um, and uh, I just have to understand that, no, I trust my spirit. My spirit's guiding me here. And as long as I approach him in a grounded, logical manner um, and stay strong in my uh, knowing, then um, as much as he may give me a response that on the surface may not seem like it's something that is approving, I know his spirit is approving and he's just going through the process of 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 processing it, right? And so when we are in our strong uh, form, uh, we, we have that ability to move forward and do that. All right, so your universe message today, beautiful soul, is no two flowers are the same, yet all the beautiful in their own way. This message says, comparisons are od od odious. Comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case between me and you, the universe. So at the end of the day, just because you're not the same, doesn't mean you're not as beautiful and you're not as um, able to connect. You're not as able to communicate with one another. You're not as able to, um, you know, evolve with one another. You know, sometimes when we think things are different, it's bad, but it's actually a good thing. Uh, trust me, contrast is a good thing. You don't want to be around the same energy um, as yourself because um, then you can quickly fall into um, attachments, right? You, it's good to sometimes to be have the same, you know, tendencies. Like my husband and I are like, I hate, I honestly am so, I hate a strong word. I honestly am disapproving of any labels, twin flames, soulmates. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's overblown. Um, but if you were going to put a label on something, my husband and I would almost fit the mold of twin flames because we're basically the exact same. Um, but, um, and a twin flame is where one soul is split. So it's like you're from, you're the same soul, but just split. It feels like that, right? I'm the feminine, divine feminine. He's the divine masculine. Um, but we of course integrate, uh, energies at different times. We all share masculine and feminine energies, right? So even though we're the same in some aspects, we're completely different in other aspects, right? But his, when I experience contrast from him, I'm very grateful. And I never used to be like that because, oh, he's very practical um, and uh, very logical. And he's very intuitive with his senses. His, uh, his instincts are like crazy. His instincts are unbelievable. As mine, I can be lost in the energy sometimes. So when he says something, even though sometimes it's said in a way that might not energetically, uh, like it might come off as, as he doesn't know what he's saying sometimes, because he gets downloads to say things for me as your partners will for you. People will say things sometimes around you and you'll want to take it personally, but actually listen to that because it's actually advice for you half the time. And so when we can get through all the emotion and all the like, like, like all the imprinting and, and all the conditions we practice, we can actually realize like anytime my husband says something, I always listen. And I realize that was for me. I know that was for me. And I know that was for my soul. And as much as my inner child is screaming right now out of discomfort, I know that that was for me. So I will interpret that in my own time. But trust comparisons and doing things and having people in your life that are a little bit different, it, it helps you to evolve and it helps you to grow. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.